Welcome to 2014 and a happy new year to one and all. Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include The unit launches a new brand and updated website. New for 2014, the Unit UK Facebook page. Updates and restructures to the Unit UK nightly news and the Unit UK New Year's predictions. Plus, 2014, a new initiative, Awakening the Peoples with a Bang. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our new look homepage, you'll notice that we have done a lot of work to restyle the website. Based upon feedback we got from you last year, we have worked to implement many of the changes that you asked for. The feeling was that for new visitors to the website, it was still rather busy and was in need of some tidying. We have reduced the columns from three to two, with the exception of the homepage, which carries the leading stories in two columns. You'll notice that all the ancillary items from the left-hand column have been completely removed, including the site navigation. We have extended the dynamic menus at the top of the page, and that is where you'll find all the items from before. Of course, you'll hopefully have noticed the new website address, theunituk.com. The one thing that people mentioned most was that the website address was very difficult to pass on to people in conversation th-eu-nit.com all those hyphens are a right mouthful so we changed it to the unituk.com all one word and very simple to tell others about of course now we rely upon you to get out there and tell others about it too of course we can still be found in the number one position on google in the search engines by searching for the unit european union the website still answers to the old name and right now, all our email addresses remain the same as before. We do intend to update our emails, and I will announce that a little bit later. Well, I hope you enjoy the new style of the website, and of course, please do continue giving us your feedback and ideas for how we can improve it. Well, at long last, we have done it. So many of you asked us, why are we not on Facebook? Well, perhaps the Edward Snowden revelations shed some light on why we have been avoiding using Facebook. However, the time has come to let the cat out of the bag, and so we have set up the Unit UK on Facebook. I have included a link to the page below, so please don't delay. Get online and take a look. It's always a bit cheeky and perhaps even a little cheesy to say like and share, but if you don't give the page a like and share it with your Facebook friends, then it's going to be a cold and lonely place. Of course, we are watching the page throughout the day and we'll be working hard to read your comments, post replies. I will also be looking to give some coverage of insightful comments, jokes and wise cracks on the nightly news. Finally, posted up there right now are pictures of our theunituk.com branded Ford Falcon V8 supercar, which will be competing in the iRacing V8 Supercar Championship 2014. And we're giving away full HD limited edition signed images of the car in action in its first official race as desktop wallpaper to the first 100 followers of the page. So what are you waiting for? Get your foot down. For us, 2014 is all about spreading the word. What has become crystal clear to all of us here at the unit is how little people know about the European Union, and furthermore, how much government influence it has over us in Britain. Part of our strategy is to grow our campaigns to reach out to a wider audience. One aspect of our mission is to get out into the public and speak to people directly, and we're going to be expanding that programme for this year reaching out to schools, voluntary organisations and business networks across the South West. Wherever there is an opportunity to speak to even a small audience, we'd like to be there. And you can help us too. Think about events in your diary, special occasions or community events and let us know about them. Just email the details to Andrew via response.unit at theunit.com or via the contacts tab on our website. 
Our film team are already chomping at the bit, and we have at least two productions outlined. The first documentary is being researched right now, so watch this space and I'll keep you posted. We're adding a new dimension to the nightly news with the introduction of the Unit UK News Bites. These are early bird edits as the news stories break on our website and we'll be releasing these via our YouTube channel and with updates going to Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook. Now, if you're a member of YouTube, then please subscribe to our channel. The link is below. As is customary at this time of year, we too have some predictions for 2014. There is a big shift in attitude and understanding of people, brought about in part by organisations like the Unit UK and other alternative media sources too. One of the key things that this has highlighted for us is the deliberate bias of the mainstream media in the press and on TV. What people are finding is that what is really happening in the world is far richer and varied than they had perhaps realised before. More and more people are changing their habits with regard to news sources and we believe that 2014 will be a crunch point for mainstream media. In short, we believe that 2014 will see the difficult times ahead for mainstream media and will likely result in business closures. The big prediction for 2014 is the economic pole flip. Our research leads us to believe that a dramatic, perhaps even cataclysmic change in global economic structure is imminent and might well arrive as early as Q2 this year. So to ensure that you stay ahead of the curve, we're going to update our Euro economics section daily with watch points on banking, government statistics and, of course, interest rates. This is a nuclear bomb test explosion, and no, we're not predicting Armageddon. An explosive nuclear chain reaction is the most powerful source of energy known to man, and yet at its very core of beginning is one of the tiniest particles, the neutron. A few neutrons are fired into a core of enriched nuclear fuel, and rapidly each neutron splits the atom it hits, which in turn releases more neutrons, and before you can say, Easter Island, there's a blinding flash and a big bang. OK, so what's the point of this analogy? Well, since 2010, the unit has been enriching the community's knowledge and understanding of the European Union, building up the energy in the fuel. Whether you have followed us for three months or three years, each and every one of you have vastly more knowledge and understanding than the man or woman standing next to you. Our message is simple. Government of the people by the people, for the people. And the best kept political secret is that they, the politicians and civil servants, work for us. So, every day through 2014, we're going to be firing neutrons in the form of short messages, news articles, videos, podcasts, news and interviews. It is this action that will begin the chain reaction of change. But for these neutron messages to become nuclear explosions for change, then, my friends, it's with you that the fuel, energy and ultimately the power resides. There are already over 5,000 of you that receive our information each day. If, like the Neutron, you relay and share those messages to your friends, social networks and contacts, that 5,000 will turn into hundreds of thousands within minutes. So if you're not already following us on one of the social networks, then what are you waiting for? The links to them all are below. We are going to be dropping the regular video library section from our nightly news in favour of embedding the key points from videos into our news as and when required. And you'll see the nightly news evolving into a longer and more varied show. And of course, if you hadn't noticed already, we've got new theme music. A massive thanks and shout out to music producer, composer and writer Christopher Genius a.k.a. Gadman Dubs, who has produced this new music for us. And we'll be bringing you more from Gadman Dubs in the near future too. And now for something completely different. Part of our drive to reach a younger and more varied audience, we've pasted our brand new website right up the side of this incredible Ford Falcon V8 supercar. Now, for those of you that are race fans, here is 20 seconds of the car's first test outing. 
in a friendly fixture at the Watkins Glen race circuit. There is work to do in every aspect of the Unit UK, and well, to be frank, we're going to need a lot of help to get through it. The European elections take place in May this year, and we're going all out to get as many people up to speed with information and news. And we need commentators, letters, ideas, events, interviewees, stories and articles. Together we can make change happen in 2014, so please help us wherever and whenever you can. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.